guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back for a tutorial on how to download, install, and use this red shelf to place items more precisely in your builds. If you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen that in most of my builds, I use this handy little shelf and I get tons of questions about it, both what it is, how to use it, and if I could do a tutorial on it. So I thought I would finally go ahead and do that. Uh, so this is a piece of custom content. So it is something you're gonna have to download off the internet and install into your game in order to take use of it. However, the way I'm gonna show you, the way I personally use it, it does not keep custom content in your game for when you're uploading builds to the gallery because I don't actually leave it here. First thing you're gonna wanna do <laughs> is in the description of this video, as well as pretty much all of my build videos, there is a link down there under the category red shelf. And if you click on that link, it's going to bring you over to this Tumblr post. Uh, this is Picture of Mobe's Tumblr, and this is the OMSP shelf, which is a lifesaver. I love this item so incredibly much. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and download this. So if you go and scroll down here and click on this little download button, it's either going to bring you to the Sims file share and there'll be two buttons right here and you can like download it, or it's gonna directly download here. So that should show up in your downloads folder. You're gonna wanna go ahead and grab this and bring it into your mods folder, which is in documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 and mods. I've already got it in there, so I'm not gonna bother dragging it in, but you would just drag that in or copy and paste it into your mods folder. You've loaded up your game. You're gonna wanna make sure if you don't typically use mods that you go into your game options down to other and make sure that enable custom content and mods is selected. As long as that is selected, you can find the shelf by typing in its name or I typically just type in shelf and it pops up right here and you can place it down. Another important thing to make sure for the way we're gonna be using the shelf is to include the cheat bb.moveobjects on. I think you can do it without on, but I always do it with on. Uh, also, in order to open that cheat menu, you're gonna do control shift C and then you're gonna type that in. Uh, so now that we have this shelf out and we have our move objects on, you can move this anywhere you want. And if you hold down all, you can move it smoothly up and down the walls. As you can see, I fully cluttered up this shelf with way more items than would typically fit with the slots on it. And I did that using this shelf. I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete a bunch of these items and we're gonna try to clutter it up on our own using this shelf so I can kind of show you how it works. So say we want to put this plant on here, but it's automatically snapping to this middle section or the top section and it's not really where I want it to be. I want it to be on the side, but it's only snapping to the top or the bottom. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're actually going to want to um, grab it, hold down shift so it automatically places more than once and you're gonna place it on both of those levels so those slots are taken up. Then you're gonna place it one more time up on this shelf. Then if you grab the shelf and bring it down to the level of this, which you're gonna have to hold down alt to make it more precise and just kinda get it to about where you want it. Leave it there and then if you drag this off of the shelf floating in the air, if you move, you don't have to move the shelf out of the way, but if you're worried it's gonna snap back to it, you can move it out of the way. Um, but then if you grab this, it's floating in midair at the level that you wanted it to. And I'm actually gonna scale it down using the open bracket key, and then you can just kind of hold down all and place it where you're thinking it would look cute. I'm gonna do the same thing with this box right here. I'd like to put it on this level. So I'm just going to drag it off of the shelf and place it right there. Obviously we probably don't wanna keep these plants up there. It's just good for preventing your items from snapping to a specific area to fill up the provided slots. Let's add some books. So I think I want these on the top shelf. So I'm gonna actually line this up here and move these over to this side right there. So then we have some books going on. Maybe a cat statue would look nice. <laughs> it's snapping as you can see. So we're gonna hold down shift again and place it in a couple of different spots just to fill up those slots. And then we're gonna uh, place it where we'd like to up here. I'm not gonna finish cluttering up the shelf, but I think you kind of get the idea with the shelf. But I would like to show you on a couple other surfaces because I get questions all the time, particularly about counters, because uh, you, even without the shelf, I'll go to place an item and then I go and I put it back where I actually want it and put the shelf or the counter back. And I get questions about how I do that because it's like snap into the counters and stuff. So the most important thing to keep in mind when you're placing things on counters or tables 
or anything is that you're going to want to move it out of the way before you place it. And if it's too close to another one, you're going to want to move that one out of the way as well. So the reason it's floating in midair is because we have move objects on. And since this has snapping points on it, it's already automatically snapping to this level. So if we grab this and we can just kind of place it where we want it over here, and then you put the shelves or the counters back where they were. The same thing can be done for tables and such. So if you wanted to just, you know, have this off to the side like that, you just have to move the table out of the way first. One of my favorite uses for this shelf is actually going to be something I'm gonna show you in this room. So say you have this table, but you think it's too big and you wanna size it down. You can size items up and down using the bracket key. So, but if we size it down one, and you grab an item and you wanna place it on top. So, hmm, I guess we want this cat. Uh, it's it's gonna place, but it's gonna be floating. Floating midair because the game processes this as still being the same height it originally was. But you really want it to be on that table. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna move over the table closer to the wall. You're gonna move this shelf down so it's about the same level as the actual table is. And then you're going to put this item onto the shelf, move it out of the way, move the table out of the way, place the item where it's going to go, and then put the table back. So as you can see now, it is actually placed on the table instead of floating above it. That's probably my favorite thing. You just have to keep in mind snapping points because um, I feel like I've made this mistake before where I'm like, okay, it's at this level. And then I move it back over here and it snaps back to the point where we don't want it to begin with, where it's floating. And that's because that's where the snap point is. So if you want it to be at the right level, you have to actually move the objects out of the way first and then move it back after you've moved it to the proper spot. Hopefully that makes sense. You can use this shelf to place items really anywhere. And one of my favorite places is actually on top of the fridge. I think it's really, really cool uh, to be able to place items up there, especially because there's definitely some issues when you use the nine and zero key, which I'll show you right now. So if I use control and nine and I go to place this up on top of the fridge, it's either going to be like kind of sunken into the fridge and cutting off the bottom of it, as you can kind of see as I bring it back and forth here, or if I raise it up once more, it's floating. So actually using the shelf, if you place it on the shelf and then move it on over, it's going to be exactly at the right level that you want it to be, which I think is super helpful. Honestly, the possibilities of what you can place things on at what levels and how much you can clutter with the shelf is just endless. And I really, really, really like this item. And I would highly recommend it if you're really into building and like to add clutter places. So there is a link down below if you would like to download it. Hopefully this overview went over everything that it needed to and you guys have a better understanding of how to use this shelf. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try my best to answer as many as possible. Uh, but if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you found this helpful, you can also subscribe to the channel. I do tutorials from time to time as well as a bunch of speed builds. Uh, so be on the lookout for those. And if you guys want to become part of the notification squad, you can also click that little bell and it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.